Hello, we're here from Teen Empowerment, here to tell you why you should come to the 12th Annual Youth Peace Conference. I'm Taylor, I'm a community facilitator at Teen Empowerment. My name is Jay Drianis and I'm a YO at Teen Empowerment. My name is Elias Salazar and I'm a youth organizer at Teen Empowerment. Okay, okay so um, Elias, could you tell us what, what is the Peace Conference? So the Peace Conference is a big event. Uh, we hire uh, extra teens and we like we hire other teens to um, have certain roles in the Peace Conference such as music or theater or speech or spoken word. So um, I guess it also like it, it's like a play on the like city if that makes sense because like youth get to speak their voice maybe like other times it hasn't been heard so well but this is the moment this is like our, the time to shine for youth. Awesome. What kind of issues will the youth be talking about at the Peace Conference? Um, sure. One of the major issues that we've made it our priority to specify in theater and speech and spoken word, um, gun violence, especially with everything that's happening in our nation. Um, we've also been specifying in relationships um, and finally drug abuse and drug dealing and gentrification. Awesome. When is the Peace Conference? May, May 12th. 12th. What time? 6.30. 6 to 8. Okay. To 8. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, this question is for Jay. Um, why do you think the Peace Conference is important for community members to attend? Um, I feel like it is important because just like any other conference that politicians would go to in order to make our community better, this is a conference where everyone is invited to hear the perspectives of youth in our community, which take up a major role in Somerville. So it's like getting a different perspective. And yeah, that's why I feel like it's very important to see what the next generation thinks of our community. Awesome. Elias, why do you think it's important for youth to have a voice in the community? Because honestly, without youth, it's there's not much to say there because like youth are the ones who are going to be there in the future they're going to be the ones making the next decisions choosing the next youth to speak out and like speak their words because like uh other people who are here like older people they're not going to be there too long so like we're going to be there we're going to be making certain decisions and these decisions will affect like our future generations that are coming awesome cool okay so this question is for jay um what is your role in the peace conference and what issues presented in the Peace Conference do you think are the most important? All right, um, my role is I am in theater and I am my person. I am acting as if I am in an abusive relationship. And yeah, it's self-explanatory. Um, something that I feel that is most important to me in my heart is how we talk about um, drug dealing and how gentrific gentrification in our community forces some people to go and do that because they feel like they could be kicked out at any moment. And I feel like this just relates to me specifically because most of my family has gone to jail for stuff like that. So I feel like I have a deep connection with it. Awesome. Um, do either of you have any questions for me? All right. <laughs> I have a question. Um, do you see working in teen empowerment as a career, an actual career, and not a job? Hmm, okay. Um, working at, I don't really know exactly how to answer this, but I'll do my best. I think that working at teen empowerment doesn't feel like a job, which I think, I don't know, I've heard most people kind of like strive for that, so I feel really grateful. Um, as a career, um, yeah, I could see myself there long term, if that's what you mean. And I feel like watching youth make the decisions that are going to affect them gives me hope for the future. Um, and if I can go to work every day and love what I do, then I think I could see myself staying there long term and building off of that as well. Um, so my question would be, when you were like younger, what, like around our age, did you see yourself working for teen empowerment in the future? <laughs> 
So yeah. like now? Um, so I actually went to Somerville High, um, as you guys might know, but so I remember like being in the audience at the peace conferences um, every year. I, I wasn't a youth organizer like you are, but I had friends that would like sell me tickets to the peace conference. Um, and I just remember specifically, I would, first of all, I would cry every single time I went to one <laughs> and cry with like tears of joy and like also sadness sometimes when people like share something that's so personal about their lives and they're very vulnerable. I feel like people always want a space to do that and it's hard to find sometimes. So I think the Peace Conference really allows the community to come together and for people to see that they have shared experiences and feel not alone. Um, so I definitely really felt that when I went to the Peace Conferences. Um, I specifically remember one kid that I went to school with who did a speech on bullying um, and it was so powerful he started like breaking down during it a little bit but he um, yeah so he ended up kind of taking a long pause everybody kind of digested what he said and he got a standing ovation and it was yeah it was so powerful I had the chills um, so after I went off to college and I came back to Somerville um, I knew that I wanted to do work in the community and one of the first places I thought of was teen empowerment because of that experience that I had going to the peace conferences. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the first place I looked. Um, Jay, before I ask Eliza another question, um, I know that you have a music piece coming up. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to drop us a little line or two? Or are we going to have to wait for the Peace Conference? If you guys want to hear it, you're going to have to go to the Peace okay. Conference. Okay. Could you tell us what it's about? Um, specifically, gentrification. It's just Somerville as a whole. It's singing and some rapping about what Somerville, what people perceive Somerville to be, to be and what it actually is once you're here. So, Cool. Um, so you said it's like what people perceive Somerville to be. Mm -hmm. What does Somerville mean to you? <laughs> That's a hard question. All right. Um, I recently moved here, and I feel like it's definitely, Somerville to me is a big part of my life. It's the first time, because in Boston, they don't have places like this where youth have a platform to do anything, um, opportunities like this. So I feel like when I think Boston, Boston's home, but when I think Somerville, Somerville's like my life. It's where I grew up and stuff. Thank you. What do you think that outsiders view Somerville as? Um, when I first, before coming to Somerville, I thought that it was going to be like a bunch of hippies um, and it was just going to be like full of white people. Um, it's very diverse in some ways you could say, so I guess I was wrong, but in other ways I feel like I know why I thought of Somerville as that, but yeah, I feel like people just think it's like full of um, Caucasian people and it's just amazing and there's no problems going on here and like all the politics are right, everyone loves like their governors and stuff, but there are stuff, there is stuff going on here too. Cool. And you plan to show that a bit in the Peace Conference? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. All right. So, Elias, um, could you talk about the character that you're playing in the Peace Conference? Sure. Um, so, the name of my character, his name is Gustavo, and he is a junior at Somerville High School, and he is, like, he's stuck in between, like, a, a bad relationship between two people, uh, and I guess they're, like, this like, fighting it out, in a sense. Like, even though it's, like, kind of under the wraps, and he's also a, men uh, a mentor. So, like, he kind of helps them resolve their problems. And I guess it's, like, kind of showing, because, like, they kind of want both, like, one, like, each side. They each want one of them to, like, like take my side or, like, take her side. <laughs> and it's, like, um, he's trying to decide whether or not to do his own thing or, like, follow along. Gotcha. Um, are there any other issues that your character faces? Uh, he feels, uh, like... Uh, he like he's in peer pressure if that makes sense and he uh, he also lives in the mystic projects gotcha cool um, so do you feel like in real life that you can relate to your character for sure yeah uh, like 
personally, like my character says random facts all the time, like weird things. Uh, and I guess I do that as well <laughs> in front of my friends. And I guess he does the same thing. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, so you have a music piece that you're going to share with us, right? Yep. All right. So Elias is going to share with us a music piece that he's been working on. Um, along with other youth at our Teen Empowerment site, they've been working on speeches, spoken word, theater, and music. But Elias is going to give us a little sneak peek of his music piece. What is that titled? It's called Purpose. Purpose. All right. Let's do it. All okay. good. So a kid who lost a purpose, a purpose to feeling worthless. Nobody could ever stop him. Nobody could ever rob him while the purpose stayed outside. Outside, he stayed inside. Inside, he would always hide his feelings. He was always shy. Be shy. He'd rather die than be like, why? The why of why men. The hate of young men. We pray and say amen. And again, we back to handling. Screaming like we gambling. Our lives just all like a game of chess. Like that, it's all a mess and we get way less. And then we take tests expecting to be the best. This is a long quest, a quest to be the best. It still is mess and it's being confessed. Aquí estamos ahora diciendo algo necesario, algo que vale más la vida de los jóvenes. And if you want to see more, come to the Summerville Peace Conference, May 12th, 6.30 to 8. <laughs> yep. All I really want is to be happy and find a city that's mine. It will be so sweet. All I really want is to be happy and find a city that's mine. It will be so sweet. Thank you. All Come right. to the Peace Conference. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. Again, um, come to the Peace Conference Saturday, May 12th. It starts at 6.30. We're going to have Gracie's ice cream um, after the conference. Tickets are $2 beforehand and $3 at the door. So bring your friends and come hear all original youth-led performances.